tired of being this poor. What's this mood for? You're usually a little more depressed. <laughs> you know, Al actually had this good idea the other day. Um, oh my god. Are you what? serious? What, you think an alligator can have good ideas? This is so dumb. You know, he's you so just, smart. You had a good idea. Look, he told me and he said we should start a B&B. Like a, like a bed and breakfast. Like an Airbnb? <laughs> no, like a bed and breakfast. Like so people will stay here and then, and then we'll, we'll cook them breakfast. Okay. Honestly, I don't know who would come, but I don't know. It's kind of cute, I think. Okay. You want to? I mean, like, I don't know. Sure. Cool. Okay, well, it's just like, I think the first step is probably to go shopping, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Okay. <laughs> you, you go first. He'll come behind me. Oh my god. Okay. Hurry up, come on. No, come on. Hey, hey, just give him a minute. He goes my stairs. I got a question. What? Okay, so, um, okay, so imagine that you're having a dinner party, right? Maybe it's like at a B and B. But to know, so who would you invite? If you could invite like a like a celebrity or something. That's easy. Okay, Woody why Allen. Why Woody Allen? I want to ask him questions like, why did he marry his adopted daughter? He did. Yeah. How come you don't wear high heels? You always wear sneakers. What's that about? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, why don't, why don't you wear something like this? That is so dumb. Get away. It's not dumber than your, your jacket. This jacket's really cool. I know, I'm sorry. So, if you uh, got to be old, uh, like 90 or something, mm -hmm. um, would you rather have the body or the mind of a 30 year old? The body. Why? So you could. So like. Well, so. Uh, there's this thing, this, uh, this study. Yeah. Where they tried to uh, make two people fall in love um, through like a series of questions, right? And, um, well, you keep asking me, like, what these questions are. And, like, some are mine, but some are from the study. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, like, trying to fall in love with you or anything, because gross. But, like, I don't know. You're always talking about how, like, you can never love anything. And I'm just like, I love something. Okay. So, like, ask me more questions. Um, well, I, I got written down, actually. Oh. What's your most treasured memory? Like your best one? Uh, I really hate that question. My most treasured memory is probably like, I don't know. Probably like, I used to have this friend, Bethany, when I was little and like sometimes we'd have sleepovers like at her house and her parents were really nice and like, they always gave us like snacks and like we always, I don't know, it was just nicer than my house and like she was a really good friend for a while. Uh, my grandma used to cook a lot. Uh, one time she uh, taught me how to make the carrot cake she used. Carrot cake is actually uh, my favorite cake. I don't, I don't eat it a whole lot anymore but yeah, I don't know. There's, there's something about how it's like sweet, but I feel like it gets a bad rap, you know, because it's got carrots in it. But like, I don't know. It's still a cake. I yeah, know. I like carrot cake. Yeah. You know, I I bet it's gonna become like it's gonna get like famous, you know, where it's gonna get like what the B and B. It's gonna get like so much publicity, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's gonna be like oh man, it's gonna be so cool. Yeah, I guess that'd be cool. 
I got it. The birds and the bees. Get what? it, but like, but like bees is gonna have like, it's gonna have like 13 bees like, like sleeping. You know what I'm talking about? Oh like, yeah, like bees. Like... Yeah. Oh my god. Oh wow. What's that? I love this. What is that? Like a mask? It's like a little something? ceramic mask. It's like kind of dramatic. It's yeah. kind of cool. Kind of into it. Yeah, I'd be into it. Oh well. Um, so one time, like, when I was really little, my grandfather came over and he read this story to me in the newspaper about this baby that got kidnapped. Like, the, the, the crazy aunt set fire to her crib and then took the baby and made it look like she had died and her family thought she was dead and then, like, years later found out that they had, had a daughter that was alive. And so after that, I started getting like really freaked out about yeah. getting kidnapped. I bet. <laughs> and so like my parents would be like, oh, no one's going to come and take you in the middle of the night because we have like double glass panes in your window. But then I was like, no, what if someone threw a rock through the window, you know, and then like just took me? That would be so easy. So like anytime anyone knocked on the door or like the car, a car like slowed down, I would get really freaked out and like super anxious. Yeah, I bet. It's like, yeah. That was probably the most like traumatic thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It reminds me of like all those stories when you're in like middle school or elementary, and they it, they talk about those clowns, like that clown that was oh, like yeah. babysitter or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, the way that the researchers ended the study was to have the participants stare into each other's eyes for four minutes with nothing else, just staring into each other's eyes, so I guess now we gotta do that. Okay, that sounds cool. Al was, um, he was complaining about how cold it is. Are you serious? Yeah, he, he really doesn't like it when it's cold out. That is so dumb. I can't believe I participated in this dumb game. Yeah, it was just dumb. I just I thought it'd be fun, but it was... Like, so dumb. It was stupid. No, so stupid. No. Stupid. I just, I honestly think that we should just like go home. Yeah. Let's just go. 